Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today I will calculate the area under following curves defined on x from 0 to 1 and y from 0 to 1. The first curve is square root of x plus square root of y equals 1. The second one is cube root of x plus cube root of y equals 1. And the third one is fourth root of x plus fourth root of y equals 1. Alright, so let's get started. The first one, square root of x plus square root of y equals 1. We can calculate the area under a curve y equals fx from x equals a to x equals b by following formula. The area a is given as integral fx dx from a to b. So let us express our equation of the graph in y equals fx form. So square root of y equals 1 minus square root of x. So y equals 1 minus square root of x squared. Therefore, the area is given as integral from 0 to 1, 1 minus square root of x squared dx. So let's square the integrand using the famous formula. And it is actually beneficial if we use fractional exponents, like x to the power of 1 half, because then we can easily apply the power rule of integration. So we have x minus 2 times 1 over 1 half plus 1, x to the power of 1 half plus 1, then the integral of x is 1 half x squared. So we have x minus 4 over 3, x to the power of 3 over 2, plus 1 half x squared, which is 1 minus 4 over 3 plus 1 half, which gives 1 over 6. Next, cube root of x plus cube root of y equals 1. We essentially do the same. First, express the equation of the graph in y equals fx form. So cube root of y equals 1 minus cube root of x. So y equals 1 minus cube root of x cubed. Therefore, area A equals integral from 0 to 1. 1 minus x to the power of 1 third cubed dx. And of course, now we apply the cube formula. So we have 1 minus 3x to the power of 1 third, then plus 3x to the power of 2 thirds minus x. So using the power rule again, we have x minus 3 times now we have 3 over 4, x to the power of 4 over 3, then plus 3 times, now 3 over 5 times x to the power of 5 over 3, and minus 1 half x squared. So now we have 1 minus 9 over 4, plus 9 over 5, minus 1 half, which gives 1 over 20. Now the last one with fourth roots. Here, fourth root of y equals 1 minus fourth root of x. So y equals 1 minus fourth root of x to the power of 4. Therefore, area A equals integral from 0 to 1, 1 minus x to the power of 1 fourth raised to the power of 4 dx. And now we have to use the following formula for a plus b to the power of 4. Some of you might have memorized this specific formula, but I think many of you are more familiar with the generalized version of the formula, the binomial theorem. Anyway, if we expand, we have 1 minus 4 x to the power of 1 quarter plus 6 x to the power of 2 over 4, so 1 half minus 4 x to the power of 3 quarters plus x. So we have x minus 4 times 4 over 5 x to the power of 5 over 4 plus 6 times 2 thirds times x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 4 times 4 over 7 x to the power of 7 over 4 plus 1 half x squared. So 1 minus 16 over 5 plus 4 minus 16 over 7 plus 1 half, which will give 1 over 70. And that was all for today's video. This was rather a short integral video, to be fair. 
If you want some longer integral videos, please go check these videos of mine. And also please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed my videos. And as always, I will see you in another video.